This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Wednesday in today's morning sprint. Israel launched airstrikes at a Gaza refugee camp. Sydney Charles has the details. And Matt Gray is in for Mark Peterson today talking about a rainy start to the month. But first, let's get to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker live with an inside look at how thousands of coats get cleaned for 4 News Now's Coats for Kids Drive. Well, our Coats for Kids drive ended yesterday. Now all those donated coats are getting cleaned here at Alsco. We're going to bag up the clean coats and get them out to local community centers so we can get them into the hands of kids who really need them just in time for that very cold weather that is eventually on the way. If you go to kxly.com slash coats for kids, you can find a complete list of distribution sites to help your child stay warm this winter. Dog attacked a child at this home near Nevada and Walton last night, just a few blocks from Rogers High School. Spokane police say that child was rushed to the hospital and has life-threatening injuries. We reached out to Spokane police to check on the child and for details about the dog. They did not tell us anything else. We will post updates and send alerts on the story on the 4 News Now app. We now know what caused a deadly house fire in Millwood on Monday. A cigarette was tossed outside of the home near the front porch. Fire officials say it fell onto a flammable material outside and then quickly spread into the house. When fire crews arrived, they found two young boys inside. They were able to get into the kids' bedroom and get the seven and nine-year-old out, saying they did everything they could to keep them alive, but to no results. Now the fire department asks that you keep this family in your prayers as they grieve the young life that were lost. The FBI is at the King Road House again today where four University of Idaho students were murdered last year. This comes after a suspect, Brian Koberger's trial was delayed indefinitely in late August. The FBI is working to build a physical scaled model of the home where the four students were killed. To do so, they have laser scanners surrounding the perimeter of the home for 3D photos and a few drones for aerial footage. According to the statement released by the University of Idaho, visual displays like these take months to build time the FBI did not have when the trial was set to take place this month. And in your weather, today is the last day where we won't have to worry about rain, so a good time to maybe do some outdoor activities before that wet weather sets in. That's going to be this evening as we see our rain chances really begin to spike after 9 o'clock tonight. By the time we get to the morning, we'll be pretty soggy across the inland northwest. An influencer with millions of followers has called for the murder of Catholic Charities workers. Stu Peters is a far-right internet personality with more than a million followers across all social, social media platforms. Now, over the weekend, the Minnesota-based man attacked Catholic Charities during a speech about immigration. In a clip that was posted to his verified ex, formerly known as Twitter account, he said the best option to stop undocumented immigration is shooting everyone involved with Catholic Charities. We have more details about this story on our website, kxly.com. In North Idaho News, three people will spend the next few years in prison for selling meth in North Idaho. David Churchill, Jonathan Chrysler, and Jack Magnus were sentenced for selling drugs in either Sandpoint or Coeur d'Alene in separate cases. To learn more about each of those cases, find this story on kxly.com. The Spokane Valley City Council has deferred a vote on a new plan to address homelessness across the city. The action plan consisted of these three main points, one of them being to prevent people from becoming homeless in the first place by addressing the city's housing crisis. The plan looks to fill the gap in middle housing. That includes more multifamily housing like duplexes, triplexes, and quadplexes. The City Council deferred the vote because it wanted more time to make a decision. This morning, tensions are escalating in the Israel-Hamas war. The Gaza Health Ministry says Israeli military airstrikes on a Gaza refugee camp killed at least 52 Palestinian civilians and injured many more. The Israel Defense Forces confirms it carried out those strikes and that it killed a top Hamas leader and other militants. The IDF is also accusing Hamas of using civilians as human shields. The United Nations Secretary is now renewing calls for humanitarian ceasefire. The latest on Israel's war with Hamas is coming up next on Good Morning America. Ding an announcement from the Federal Reserve on interest rates this afternoon. Most economists predict Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell will hold interest rates steady for the second time in a row. 
More changes are coming to the Maple Street Bridge today. All northbound lanes will be closed from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. today. From that point, at least one northbound lane will remain open, but now all southbound lanes will be closed from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. today.